Hi, I'm Peter. Thanks for your interest in Pine Ridge Properties. Today I'm at Pleasant River Preserve and I'm going to be doing a walking tour of each of the lots. Uh, in, in this uh, preserve we have four 25-acre off-grid recreation lots and then one uh, lot which is 8.7 acres that has a terrific cabin in a great setting with lots of pine trees and the cabins fully furnished. What drew me to this area is the terrific privacy. We're deep, 3.6 kilometers off the asphalt. But as you can see, it's a great Crown Road uh, that brings you right to the property. So you're looking at the Crown Road here. I've actually driven here in December in my Tesla, so there's no difficulty in terms of access. And then this is the entrance into uh, the lots. Again, a terrific hard base, um, good access. Um, so in addition to easy to get to, um, it's adjacent to a thousand acres of crown land with a great road system. So this is the road that brings you in on the one side of the property. And then there's also a trail system, a forest road system on the other side of the property. So you have terrific access to all kinds of lakes, to forest roads, to ATVing, to hiking. Uh, Cranberry Lake is close by and of course Pleasant River itself. Thanks, I hope you enjoy the tour. This is the actual entrance to the five properties. So we've crossed a little bit of Crown land from the Crown Road and then this will be the private road. The way it's set up is that all five lot holders have um, deeded access across the properties and the, the big advantage there is that you get access to both uh, road systems. The Crown Road system which is on the eastern side and then a private road system which is a trail system which is on the western side of the property. So this is the survey. Right now we are at the junction here came in on the Crown Road, and this is the lot line for lot five. First lot, and then the Crown Road leads all the way through the five properties and then joins the forest road system out on the um, western side of the property. So this is Meadow Brook where it crosses the private road. Not big, but it does run 12 months of the year and it picks up steam a little bit inside the property because uh, the whole area wants to drain to this brook so there's natural springs and natural runoff that feed it as well. Anyway nice to hear running water and access to running water too. Welcome to lot 3 Pleasant River Preserve. Lot 3 as you can see touches both lot 2 and lot 1. On the and also on the northern end of the property line, the back corner, the brook does uh, touch the property line. The property is 408 meters deep with land on both sides of the internal road, and on the back property line, it's 231 meters wide. All right, we're looking at lot three where it crosses the lane. So it follows down there to the intersection of lot one, the cabin lot to the left. Farther into the horizon is lot two. And then everything here to the left is lot three. To the right is lot one, the cabin lot. So we're going to make our way to the back property line, which would be the southwest corner of lot three. So we're at the back corner, southwest corner of lot three. So the road is up there. To the left is lot one, the cabin lot. To the right is lot three. So this is the back southern property line. We're at the southwest corner right now. Working our way along the southern back line of lot three. 
We're at 131 meters elevation here. You can see lots of nice hardwood, softwood, mature trees, regrowth happening. Beautiful spots up here with elevation looking down. But there's also nice crests down towards the other side of the property by the brook. So lots of different options on lot three. Still on the back property line, south, southern property line of lot three. Again, we're about 130 meters elevation. Be a super quiet place to have a cabin back here and you'd have firewood forever. Continuing on the southern property line of lot three. Really peaceful. Lots of big pines. And lots of wildlife. Wildlife of pretty pretty much see deer every time I'm at the property. Of course there's bear, fox, coyote, rabbit, grouse, pheasant, and all kinds of bird species. Lots of hawks. And uh, I've got a couple confirmed recordings of the Canada warbler, which is a species at ri risk. How cool is that? Big pine tree, back section of lot three, near the southern property line. We're at the back corner intersection of lot three. That's the trail we came from. That's lot three. And this is lot four. So the property line heads down across the lane and all the way to the back um, where we'll meet up with the brook. So we're working our way from the southwest corner intersection of lot three and four. So lot three to the left, lot four to the right and the road is directly ahead of us. So we're at the intersection of lot three and four coming across the lane. So this is where we came from. This is lot three. You can see some nice elevation up in the hardwood. Lot three to the left. That's where we'll be going. Lot three to the left, lot four to the right, headed down towards the back of the property by the brook. In here, you can see definitely some squishiness, some soft ground, mostly because the water can't get across this road. So I think a little bit of excavation work, probably a culvert, would help drain this area and let it run naturally down towards the stream. But it doesn't seem to be inhibiting anything. There's lots of new tree growth in there. So it's not, uh, it's not too big of a challenge. So again, crossing the road with lot four on our right, you can see a nice crest there, high and dry. Looks like a ridge line that heads down towards the back of the property. Lot three to the left, same thing, some crests. So lots of good options, either close to the road or more privacy away from the road to build a cabin. Heading north between lot three to the left and four to the right towards the northern side of the property where the brook is. And a nice little find here, looks like there's an old skitter trail with a good foundation. So kind of a ready-made road system that looks as though it goes right down to the brook. And it leads directly up to the road. Following north on the dividing line between lot three on the left 
and lot four on the right headed towards the back property line and the brook. We're at the back property line between lot three to the right. This is where we came from. So three to the right and lot four to the left. So the water is all draining downhill towards the brook, which is in there, not too far, and we'll find it up here ahead as it crosses into lot three. So we're on the northern property line of lot three. The deer are using this property line as a runway. The grass is all matted down and there's lots of deer scat. So the brook isn't too far in there. And again, ground's a little bit squishy because the water's trying to make its way to the brook. And there's the brook, lot three. It's actually moving okay. You can hear rips both to the left and the right. So it's moving. It's all grown in. I'm sure nobody's ever cleared any of this, so. Yeah, if you wanted a little sitting area down by the brook, it wouldn't take much to open it up and make it accessible. Could even be some fish. And this is where the brook crosses lot three. So it's actually even a little natural walking bridge. But that's the property line straight ahead and the brook now is on the left. So we're at the corner of lot two and three. You can see the lot marker on the other side of the stream brook, just to the right of that stump. And so lot three will carry on to the right, video right, and lot two heads back up hill. So this is the dividing line between two to the right, three to the left, and the brook is back there. So we're heading up the lot line. So heading up the lot line from the brook, lot two on the right, lot three on the left. What's interesting is all kinds of tamarack growth here along with some birch, some spruce, some maple, but uh, very interesting to see all the tamarack. And we're at, at the brook, we're at 115 meters elevation, so I'll uh, report how much we climb here. You can see a nice rise to the left on lot three, which would be an interesting, really interesting place to build a cabin. So we're on the lot line between three to the right and two to the left, looking back towards the brook. The brook's at about 115 meters elevation. We're at about 123 meters elevation here, so we've climbed. And you can get a feel for the, I'll call them rolling crests that are in here. So again, three to the left and two to the right. But there's some really neat areas in here to build a, a tucked away cabin with a view across the landscape. We're at the survey marker, the jut in between lot two, which is to the right of this, and then everything to the left is lot three. And the road would be up there, and the cabin would be quite a bit off diagonally. So we're going to follow the lot line back, and again, everything to the right is lot two. Everything to the left is lot three. So we're back to the three lot intersection. This is the lot line, takes you back to the road. Cabin is up there road straight ahead. To the right is lot two. 
to the left is lot one and everything back here on the right is lot three.